Hamill, seven years in prison. A former Phoenix cop learning his fate for his deadly answer to a 911 call. Richard Chrisman pleaded guilty to manslaughter for the October 2010 death of Danny Rodriguez. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas live tonight in downtown Phoenix. And Lauren, what a day in court. What happened in there? Yeah, Katie and Steve, neither side is what you could call happy about this outcome. The victim's mother saying seven years, not nearly a harsh enough sentence, while Chrisman supporters and police representatives saying it's too much time behind bars. Today, we heard from several family and friends of both the defendant, Richard Chrisman, and the victim, Daniel Rodriguez. Rodriguez's family giving a final plea to the judge today, asking for the maximum sentence of 15 years. Now, in a surprise move, Chrisman Chrisman's ex-wife actually got up and spoke against her ex-husband, describing him as violent and aggressive. But his current wife also spoke out, saying Chrisman was an excellent husband and father. His friends also say the way he was portrayed during the trial as, quote, trigger happy couldn't be farther from the truth. Now listen to what the victim's mother and Chrisman supporters had to say after the sentence was handed down just a little while ago. I'll never see my boy again. Never. He'll see his mom and his family, Mr. Christman, but I will never, ever see my son again until I die. I think the judge's hands, to a degree, are, are tied on this. There are certain things the judge has to do, uh, but it's, it's uh, at this point, I think for Rich, it's a matter of cutting his losses and moving on. Now, at one point, Richard Crisman actually did speak himself in court, saying he was sorry for the pain he has caused the Rodriguez family, but also asking the judge to consider the pain that his family has suffered. Yeah, it had to be just incredibly intense in that courtroom today. Lauren, thank you for the update.